So this is everything I took out from my Louis Vuitton collection for this video. Hello everyone! So today I thought I would film a bag collection. I love watching these so I thought I would finally sit down and make one. But I didn't want to do all my bags because I thought it might take too long. So instead today I'm only going to do my Louis Vuitton collection. So I hope you guys like it and let's just get right into it. Um, okay, so I'll start with this one right here. This one is the Croissette. I got this one in Paris, I think two years ago, and it's the only one in my collection that's this color. And it has the little tassel, and this is called the Damier Azur, uh, the, this color, and it's the Croissette again. And when you open it up, it's the nice rose ballerine inside. I love it. I just keep the strap, so it does have the long strap, and just, I think it's dust bag, and that's about it. I haven't used it too, too much, um, just because, I don't know, I'm not too, too afraid of color transfer, but I just haven't really gotten the opportunity to use it too, too much. Then, let's see, okay, so I have, this is one of my favorites, it's the Pochat Matisse, and I got it in the Empreinte leather, in the color Marine Rouge. So you can see, there's the little red, and this bag I got, I think, four years ago. And anyone wondering, it's still in great condition. I don't actually see any signs of use on it at all. And I have used it. I just, I don't know. I don't really baby my bags too much, but I'm not really rough with them either. So inside, you've got the two compartments. The red lining, red striped lining on the inside. Um, I have a little pillow for it. So that just goes right in there to kind of help keep its shape. And then, of course, the long strap, which I keep in there as well. And this one I just love. I love the shape of it. I've actually been thinking of getting another pochette Matisse, maybe in the monogram. But we'll see. For now, that's the only one I have. Okay, next I've got the Clapton backpack. I got this one in Venice last year. And I put this Twilly on it, which I got there as well. It's cute. And this one came in two color options when I won. I don't know if it's different now. I think it's still the same too. It was either like a beige creamy color or this pink. Rose ballerine, I think. And then inside it's just really big. I keep the dust bag in there. And it comes with straps. So here's, it comes with two straps for the backpack. And so you can put them right back here and use it like a backpack. Or... You can just use it as a top handle bag, and I like it because here there's a little magnet which makes it stay shut like that, or you can pop that out and then the bag looks different. I'll show you. So it can kind of look like that. Instead of tucking it in and then it's like skinny. So this one's a really good backpack. I love it the only backpack I have and I love it a lot fits in there too by the way okay next I have the speedy and this one's the size 30 so the speedy 30 and the dummy or Ben and I didn't get the bandolier one I just didn't really care I felt like this was fine I've got my initials on there which are coincidentally LV and I love this one. The only thing um, is I have an organizer inside. So it's a nice red organizer matches the inside. And this bag, I like because it doesn't weigh much. And you can fit like a million things in there. I don't use it as much as I should, but I do like this one. I don't think I would ever sell this one. I'm not sure, but I don't think I would love this one. Next I have, this is actually my very first LV purchase. This is called the Palace. And it's in the larger size. I got this one in Paris 2016. And I love this bag. It's got slip pockets here and the other side. So I love that. It's suede. It's really, really nice. I have some just to kind of stuff it. And also the dust bag is in there as well. And what I like about this one is it has also a long strap. So you can either hold it by the handles. Or... 
you can use it with the crossbody strap. So that is a beautiful bag. Love this one. Next, I have the Noe. So here it is. And what I did is, it's the Neo Noe, by the way. So it doesn't have the vachetta at the bottom. It's actually just more canvas at the bottom. And it's the dummier band, of course. And what I did was I took out the little leather strap that was here. And I put through a twilly or bandeau, however you call it. And I used that just to make it a little bit more personal and cute. I didn't make the bow that well, as you can see, I have to fix it. And I love this one. Um, it also comes with a crossbody strap. And I just love it. I think this one's super pretty. I've been using this one a lot lately. Well, I actually, actually, I got it this year. I got it in January of this year. It was um, my last trip that I took to Paris. And I got a few things. I'll show you. What else? This was another bag that I got this year. And this one is called the South Bank Basach. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I'm sorry. But this one's super cool. I love it. This is my current everyday bag pretty much because it's super thin, but it fits everything. And then the strap is super comfortable and it's so pretty. And it has a really big front flip pocket, which I like because this fits everything. I can fit my phone, my card holder, my sunglasses, my car keys, everything in just there. And then of course, if you open it, you can fit even more and it has like slip pockets. I have some papers from, since this is the bag I've been using every day. I love this one. I recommend this one a million times over. Just got it and it's been pretty much my everyday bag. Love, love, love it. Also, it has this little tassel, which is super cute. It's opening up a little bit. Unlike with the Quasette, that one hasn't moved at all. But I heard that you can just put like your little hair tie to wrap it around to keep it like that. But I haven't really been doing that. Okay. Next, I got this bag in Capri. It is stunning. It's got so much color to it. I just love this one. I don't know if I'm going to sell it. Just because I don't really see myself using it. I thought I would because I love... It just caught my attention. I absolutely loved it. It's where my husband's from. So I really wanted something that said Capri. But at the end of the day, I really don't use it. I got it last year and I never use it. And it does fit a lot. Like it fits my cell phone, my card holder, my sunglasses, car keys. Surprisingly, it does fit a lot. But I just don't know if I'm going to keep it. I don't think I'll use it. I'm not sure. I've, I've still never used it. Next, I got the double zip. So this one I got last year, and it's another great everyday type of bag, like if you're doing errands, it comes with this uh, nice chain. And what's cool is the chain can actually get tucked right into this middle compartment. It's just a big middle open compartment. And it has the two zippers, thus double zip. <laughs> and the back one has a little card holder section. And then the front one is just one big open compartment. And I love it because you can use it as a clutch, just very small, dainty, or let the chain loose and wear it across. So I do love this one too. Just ever since I got the South Bank, I've been using that one instead of this one, just because it's it fits everything. Next, let's see. Oh, I've got this one. This one I use mostly for parties. I love this one. This one's called the Roseberry Kaboss. And uh, it doesn't have much shape to it. So what I do is I put this Marc Jacobs Twilly on it, which I just think it gives it kind of like a waist. And I like that about it. And this bag is so sturdy, so strong. I mean, I literally use it for parties because in it you can fit like a bottle of wine here, a baguette, games, and it literally still has room. So this is like the bag that I use every New Year's. And you can tell because it literally still has games inside. So I just keep that in there. <laughs> and I love this bag. It has the two handles, so you can hold it by the handles. Or it also has the long strap, which I just have tucked in there. But you can, um, it attaches right there. And so I love this bag. It's so functional. Such a great bag. Love it. And we're almost done. Um, I have a travel bag that I just got last year. I think this one's called the All In. 
And this is the smaller size, so please, if you are interested in the all-in, just know that the smaller one is huge. So, yeah, I was originally going to get the bigger one because I just thought it wasn't going to be that, that big when I saw it in person. And this is the smaller one. I was like, oh, okay, good thing I saw it in person. So, yeah, I got this one, and it's pretty big. But I think I, think I would prefer the keep ball instead just because this one's nice, but when it's full, it's super heavy when you're carrying it. And I feel like the keep ball might not have the same issue, but I'm not sure. Because I got it instead of the keep ball, but now I think I'm going to get the keep ball anyway. But I love this one. I got it in Portugal last year, immediately started using it. And I put my initials right there, got it hot stamped, and yeah. And it folds up so thin, which is a good thing. Right now I have an organizer inside, which is why it's bulky. But usually it just gets super thin like you see at the top. Great bag. And then ignore the bandeau. I just had thrown something on it, just playing around, and I never took it off. It's a Tiffany's Twilly, which I have a few, because I really like the Tiffany's ones. So, oops. I had put one on my Pochette Matisse, which I didn't really show you. Cute little Tiffany's Twilly that I put on there. And on to my last items. I have the Jean, or Jean wallet. And it comes with three compartments. Um, there's a blue zippered compartment that goes in there, but I have it somewhere else. And I think I just have it with money or something. I think it's because I'm using it right now. And then it comes with a little card holder, which I put my initials on. And also there. So I could probably resell it since my initials are LV. Which is a good thing, because if I ever don't want something, I don't think anyone's going to mind. But anyway, this one also has a little back pocket. So this one's super cute. I like this one. And I have the Kirigami. I had to have this. I saw it, and I was like, I love this one. I definitely want this. So I went ahead and got it, and I'll show you. So it's three parts. This is the biggest compartment. This fits a lot. I actually use this as a clutch sometimes. Or I also use it kind of like a catch-all and I put it inside my Noe or any of my bigger bags. Then the middle size one is this one. And when you open it, it's a different color. And this one fits a few passports. So it easily fits two, maybe three passports, something like that. Easily. And so, just for size reference. And then here's the smallest one. This can fit business cards, like a bunch of business cards or change if you want and then that's the color of this one love it and i think i'm on to my last item okay so last but not least i have this little card holder and it came in that cute little box it's called the kaisa card holder you can get your initials hot stamped right here um, I'm glad I didn't because I actually never used it, so I'm thinking of selling this one. It's super cute. Um, they no longer have it available for purchase, so I think the only way to buy it is pre-loved. But it is super cute, but I think around the same time, I got a Jimmy Choo card holder, and I used that one to death. It has so many compartments. I love it. It's my favorite one, so I just didn't end up really giving this one a chance. It's cute, though. You can fit a card right here. And also right there. So it has two spots that you can fit cards, but just never used it. And that's about it for my Louis Vuitton collection. So I hope you guys like this video. I'm going to make more um, for my other bag collection. So stay tuned for those. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Have a great day. Stay safe. Bye. <laughs>